Hello. How are you? Good. Well, I'm so glad you're here today. You're having a spa package? That's wonderful. Yeah. I love gift certificates. Yeah, they often get me to try things that I haven't done before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, have you ever had a Thai massage before? Okay. Well, Thai massage is a bit more like assisted stretching. Mm -hmm. You can stay fully clothed, so I'm glad that you're in comfortable clothing. If not, we also have some loose pants and a t-shirt that you could wear if you want. And those are hanging on the back of the bathroom door. Mm -hmm. You're comfortable in what you're wearing? Okay, yeah, it looks loose and comfortable, so that's great. And with Thai massage, we can do it on the table, but generally we do Thai massage on a mat on the floor. Are you comfortable with that? Okay. Yes, for people who have a hard time getting up and down off the floor, we can alter it. But if you're comfortable on the mat, it's a little bit easier for me, and I can get a little bit more leverage. Okay. And today what we're going to do is a, an arm massage. Yes, as it's part of your package, we're doing the shorter version today. So we're going to start off with an arm massage, which is actually nice. It's a nice way to start with Thai massage because it can incorporate some more traditional massage moves and yet give you a taste of what the Thai massage is like. Is that okay? All right, great. So do you want to lay down face up? Mm-hmm. Okay. And we won't use any blankets. Just lay down on the sheet face up. Okay. And I'm going to start over on this side, okay? Are you comfortable? All right. So I'm just going to start off by holding on to your wrist. And I'm going to place my foot in your armpit, okay? And I'm just going to pull your arm a bit. Do not let me hurt you, all right? Don't worry, my feet are clean. <laughs> okay, just... Ah, and release. And then a little bit longer. And release. And then I'm going to pull final time, and we're going to hold for three breaths, okay? Okay, how did that feel? All right, now I'm going to keep holding on to your wrist and I'm going to pull your arm out to the side. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to press my foot into the side of your body and just use that little bit of leverage to pull the arm. Now, this is not anything jarring. It is a gentle pull to stretch the muscles, not to rearrange bones or muscles or anything like that, just a stretch. All right. And I'm going to pull the arm down a little bit as you breathe out. Okay. Now I'm going to place the palm of your hand 
next to your head. So as if you were going to do a tricep stretch. So let's take your arm overhead, bend your elbow, and place your hand next to your head, facing down towards your feet. Does that feel comfortable? Okay, I don't want to do anything that doesn't feel comfortable. Okay, and now I am going to stretch the elbow, pushing down the elbow just a little to stretch the triceps. And using my opposite hand, just running down your triceps as I push gently on your elbow. Okay, just keep breathing. Does that feel all right? Okay. So now I'm going to stretch your arm back out. And I'm going to hold your wrist with my hand. And gently rotate your arm around in a circle. Taking my other fist and gently placing it on the top of your chest, on your pectoralis muscle. And just rotating your arm all around in giant circles, okay? Alright, does that feel alright? Okay. Just slowly. My fist is soft. Not pressing too deeply into the muscle. I can feel that loosen up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we often don't think of our pectoralis muscle, but it can often be the cause of some of our neck and shoulder pain if our pectoralis muscle is tight and is making us uh, curve inwards. Pulling our ribs too high. Okay. So now I'm going to support your wrist and your elbow. And then I'm going to have you exhale as I pull back. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And exhale as I pull gently back. Doesn't that feel nice? Traction really feels great. Let's do it one more time. Great job. Are you feeling good? Okay. Now I'm going to be a little bit more active, all right? Are you ready? Okay. So I'm going to take your arm and pull it across your body. All right, I'm going to pull the shoulder towards me, all right, and then I'm going to hold your shoulder behind with my hand on your scapula, and then I'm going to press down right by your hip along your erectors with my other hand, and I'm going to travel up and down, just twisting your body, just cre creating a twist in your waist and your back, okay? So let me move up with my hand, up to your waist, and then back down. Okay? Does that feel alright? Okay, you're doing such a great job. Okay, lay back down. You're really very flexible. Yeah, this is a great kind of massage for you because your body really can move very efficiently and stretch very well. Now I'm going to take your hand, hold on to your wrist, propping your elbow on the table, and just holding your forearm up, and then I'm going to press down on your hand, just stress, stretching out your wrist, not too hard, I'm going to squeeze your fingers a bit as I do this, okay? Just pressing down, squeezing the wrist into the forearm a bit. Alright? That's called cobra hand. 
Yeah, so it's kind of like if you're making a little sock puppet, um, a sock puppet with your f fingers, you know, if you were going to make your thumb and your fingers talk. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go the opposite way. So I'm going to hold on to your wrist, wrapping my arm around your forearm so it won't go too far back. And I'm going to just bend your fingers backwards with your palm up in the air, just gently. Again, just stretching your wrist. This is a really great thing to do uh, for people who are on computers a lot. Mm -hmm. I've had several clients who really thought they had carpal tunnel and may have had signs of carpal tunnel, but once we started doing some of these massage moves and they learned how to do them themselves, if they started to get tight, um, they lost all pain in their wrist. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of effort. I mean, you have to make sure you're stretching and you have to um, you have to be willing to take care of it when you start to feel some tension and pain. Our, um, our culture tends to want a pill that fixes everything without us having to do very much. And our bodies just don't work that way. I, I am really starting to believe that all pills come with a price. Uh, they're finding that even, you know, Advil and ibuprofen really messes up the bacteria in your gut. Um, so I take medication as little as possible. And when I do take medication, I try to um, counteract the, the negative side effects of the medication by, you know, eating fermented foods that will repopulate the flora in my gut and... Um, Luckily, drinking wine helps with that, too, so... <laughs> yeah, I really hesitate to take anything. I think, little by little, they're finding more and more how these medications really affect us. Um, and so the quick and easy fixes aren't always that easy. They sometimes cause some long-term effects. Now, obviously, there are people who need medication. I am not, I am not against modern medicine by any means, but for little things that we might be able to manage, or even for sort of chronic issues where they're not sure um, how to fix it, quite often some of these therapies like massage uh, can really help with quality of life. Although they may not cure you, um, they can really help you feel better. Yeah. So now I'm going to just use my hands and just spread along the top of your hand with my thumbs moving from your wrist to your knuckles, just spreading out your hand using both hands across your hand. And now I'm going to press along the creases in between, between the bones on the top of your hand, moving in between the creases and then circling my thumb uh, on each finger. And I'm going to use both hands, so I'm going to do the pointer finger and the pinky finger first. And then the two middle fingers. And then ending with your thumb. Okay. Yeah, hand massage is really a wonderful part of all massage, I believe. I, I'm very disappointed when a massage therapist skips, skimps on my hands. So I'm going to start at your wrist crease, and then I'm going to firmly press my th um, thumb press on either side of the bones. So I'm going to use each hand and press on either side of the bones and squeeze the finger webbing. Okay. All right, and then squeeze the finger webbing. And I'm just kind of shimmying the bones back and forth and then squeezing in between each finger, okay? Does that feel good? Good. Yeah, hand massage is great too because it's something you can pretty much do for someone anywhere and it's not that personal, so most people will let you give them a hand massage. Um, it's wonderful for the elderly used to give a lot of hand massages to my grandparents. They weren't that comfortable getting up on a massage table, just, um, just based on who they were, and also just, um, 
the actual effort for getting up on the massage table when they were older, but uh, I could always sit next to them and give them a hand massage, and they seemed very appreciative. Uh, my grandparents were guinea pigs a lot during my massage uh, therapy school. All right, so now I'm going to face the head of the table. I'm going to take your hand and just bring your forearm up again, almost like I was going to do the cobra hand, and then hold your hand on either side and just shimmy it back and forth. Mm -hmm. Just shaking your hand, using both hands, just jostling your hand back and forth. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to work the energy line. So I'm going to put one hand on your shoulder, one hand on your wrist, and just stretch away from each other, stretching down the arm. And then I'm going to press my palm on the outer side of the arm, all the way down, your arm down along your side again. Mm -hmm. Just pressing my palm. And then, alternating my thumbs, I'm going to work up and down the center line of your arm, okay? So just working from your wrist up in between the bones of your forearm, over your elbow, and then along the bone, the top of your arm, up to your shoulder, and then moving back down again. I'm just going alternate thumbs all the way back down to your wrist. Okay. And then stretching from your shoulder to your wrist again. My palms on either side. And then pulling your arm out so it's directly out to the side. And pulling on the wrist as I go gently with my other hand on your shoulder, okay? Yeah, a little bit more traction because it feels so good. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to alternate my palm up the inner arm, so I'm just going to place your hand alongside your head with your elbow bent and just alternating my arm up the inside of your arm. Now, often in massage, we don't massage this part of the arm because it's so nerve sensitive. Uh, but some direct palm pressure does not seem to irritate people or tickle them. Mm -hmm. Does that feel okay? All right, great. And now I'm going to do a little bit of gentle thumb rolling. So taking my thumbs from one side of your arm to the other. Just gently, again, I don't want to hurt you or tickle you. I'm going to roll the bicep into the center of the arm. Make sure that I avoid pressing directly on the nerve. Yes, it shouldn't hurt at all. Then I'm going to palm press again. Okay. And pulling on your wrist again as I brace the shoulder and put your arm back down the side of your body. All right. And since you have no cardiac issues and you're not pregnant, uh, I am going to do a blood stop. Mm -hmm. So it just sort of allows the blood to back up a little bit and then flood your arm. So I'm going to find the pulse in your armpit. And I'm going to place my whole palm over the pulse and just apply deep pressure for about 30 seconds. So I'm going to count us down. 30, 29, 
And take a deep breath. We're done with one side. Letting the blood go. It fills your arm. Just sort of detoxes and refreshes your body. Alright. So are you ready for me to move to the other side? Okay. I'm going to take a quick sip of tea. massages because my hands get cold and I don't want them to be cold on you so holding a cup of tea for a couple of seconds warms my hand up better than anything else I've tried so now I'm going to take my foot again and place it in your armpit holding on to your wrist with both of my hands and just gently pulling away and once again a little bit stronger pulling away and one final time pulling away and we're gonna hold that for three breaths Traction is such a nice way to start. Okay, and now placing my foot on your side, I'm going to pull your arm out to the side and use gentle traction with my both of my hands on your wrist. Moving my foot down a little bit. I want you to take a deep breath. And pull down a little bit as you exhale. Okay. And now taking that arm again into a tricep stretch. So, pulling your arm out over your head and then bending your elbow and placing your hands on the mat facing with your fingers facing down by your toes. Does that feel comfortable? Okay. And then I'm going to press a bit on your elbow, just to stretch out your triceps. And then squeeze your triceps, moving from your elbow down to your shoulder with my other hand. Okay, does that feel good? Okay. Now I'm going to use a soft fist right on the top of your chest, on your pec muscles, and holding your wrist with my other hand, we're going to do large circles, just circling your arm as I press on those pec muscles, 
Just a nice gentle stretch on your arm and your chest. Then I'm going to hold on to your wrist and your elbow and again I'm going to lean back as I pull your arm somewhat diagonally not straight up from your head but off to the side a little bit so if you were a clock your arm would be at about 2 o'clock okay and now I'm going to do that thoracic twist again so I'm going to take your arm place it over your body and I'm going to grab your shoulder and pull it towards me supporting your shoulder blade with my hand and I'm going to take the opposite hand and push back on your hip and just using my hand traveling up and down the side of your body pressing gently backwards on your hip and your side as I pull your shoulder blade towards me. Just a gentle twist. Does that feel good? Great. Alright, let's have you lay back down. You're doing a wonderful job. And we're going to focus on your hand for a bit. So we're going to do that cobra hand again. So, yes, you can make your hand talk to me if you need to. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to clamp up that sock puppet, hold on to your wrist, and just using my hand, grab your thumb and your fingers and gently press down on your wrist. With your hand up in the air, your elbow on the table. Just a very gentle wrist stretch, pressing down a bit so the metacarpals, all the bones in your wrist, are pressed down. They're compressed a bit towards the table. Okay. And then we're going to switch directions. I'm going to wrap my arm around your arm so your forearm won't just go backwards. Hold on to your wrist with my thumb and use my hand to pull your fingers back and the hand that's supporting your wrist I'm also going to use that a little bit to pull your thumb back mm, now that feel good we don't think to stretch our hands very much but it feels wonderful alright and now I'm going to just Grasp your hand on with your top of your hand facing up, your palm on the table, and use my fingers underneath and my thumbs up top to just spread the hand moving from your wrist down towards your fingers and pulling a bit on your thumb down to your knuckles. And now again I'm going to thumb press uh, in the wrist crease and then up in between the bones on your hands using both of my hands starting with your pinky finger and first finger circling all the way out on the finger until I reach the nail and then the two fingers in the middle and finally ending with the thumb just circling all the way from the wrist up along the thumb to the nail with a gentle squeeze on the nail and now I'm going to grasp the bones of your hand. So I'm going to grasp starting with your thumb bone and your first finger and just sort of move the bones against one another. That one's easy because your thumb is so flexible. And then grasping 
the bones of your first finger and your middle finger and just sort of sliding them against each other just moving those bones a little bit and then your middle finger and your ring finger mm -hmm. and then squeezing the webbing between the fingers as well as I move up and your pinky finger and your ring finger just sliding the bones a little bit squeezing the muscles and then squeezing the webbing in between your fingers as well and then we're going to do that vigorous shake so with your elbow on the table and with my hands on either side of your hand just shaking back and forth kind of moving my hands up from your wrist to your fingers and then back down okay and then we're gonna end with the energy work and some stretching so with one hand on your shoulder one hand on your wrist I'm just gonna stretch in opposite directions mm -hmm. Just gently, and then using my palms to press all along the outside of the arm, working from your shoulder down to your wrist, and then back up again. And then using my thumb from your wrist up to your elbow in between the two bones, the top of your forearm, and then along the center bone of your arm, up to your shoulder, alternating my thumbs, and then moving back down again. And then palm pressing again, up from the wrist to the shoulders, and then back down again. Doing another stretch with one hand on your shoulder, one hand on your wrist. And then placing one hand on your shoulder, one hand on your wrist. I'm going to pull your wrist away as I move your arm up and out like a wing. Your hand facing upwards. And then moving your arm up so your hand is near your head, your elbow bent. And I'm going to press my palm along the inner arm, starting near the armpit, moving up to the elbow, and down to the wrist, and then working back towards the shoulder. Keep breathing. You're doing a great job. And now I'm going to use my thumb to press along the center line just gently on your inner arm down to your elbow, rolling the bicep to avoid pressure directly on the nerve. And then up to your wrist. And then using my palm again, working from the wrist down to the shoulder, and back to the wrist. You should be feeling very relaxed, very calm. And now I'm going to place one hand on your shoulder, one hand on your wrist, pull your wrist out to the side and then we're going to do another blood stop okay so I'm going to find a pulse with my finger pads and I'm going to place my whole palm over the pulse and I'm going to apply a deep pressure for 30 seconds and I'm going to count up to 30 
and I want you to relax. After we are done with this, I will release the blood back into your arm, place your arm back down at your side, and I'm going to quietly step out of the room so that you can continue to relax and rest for another five or ten minutes if you would like to, and I will meet you out in the relaxation room to take you on to your next treatment and to discuss how you liked the Thai massage. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some deep pressure. You ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty-two.